Are we ready to get busy? I am. Today I am cooking something and I'm so pumped about it. It has been a while since I've made a pure cooking video. For like the past year, people have been asking me to make TikTok recipes and I'm finally doing it. Today I am making the Sprite Bye. I think the accent makes it sound a little fancier so I don't sound as white trash. Let me give credit to the creator. I think that they created this, this um, recipe at Kitchen Tool on TikTok. Thank you so much for making this masterpiece. I know that a lot of YouTubers have made this already, but I really just want to see what it tastes like. I'm so curious, like Sprite doesn't have that much flavor, so cooked into a pie, what's it going to taste like? We don't know, but we're going to find out today. Let's go over the ingredients. Pain gros, gar, flour, aka flour, butter that has been whipped. So it's a little bit more classy, and the main star herself. Miss Sprite. Sprite, you're an icon. I don't drink you often because I don't like soda that much, but it's iconic, not sponsored. The ingredients look very simple, but the process of making it looks very unique. You make it all within the pie. By the way, subscribe if you're new here. Um, hopefully more TikTok recipes are coming. If you guys like this, if you don't, then we'll see what happens. So uh, anyways, these are my pie crusts. Um, I bought these ingredients like a month ago, but then different videos came up and I couldn't make it, but now I'm finally making it and these are still good. They have not expired yet. Hallelujah. February. Oh, shut up. My oven always thinks this is a collab. It's not a collab. And her name is Whirlpool. What kind of a name is Whirlpool? We haven't heard of her. I'm going to take one of my pie crusts. I'm just going to unroll it. Um, you know, I do not understand people that still make their own pie crusts. Like, I get it if you, like, love the process of it, but, listen, making pie crust is not fun. Unless if you, like, use, like, why is my oven making an on noise? Oh, that's my fridge. I'm just gonna put my pie crust into my little pie tin. Oh, let me get my close-up camera out so y'all can see everything nice and up close right after I get this step done. Just pinching off all the excess. My fridge is making really odd noises. It's in pain. Oh my god, it's making a weird noise. Oh my god. What is that? Baby? Yeah. The fridge is like making like a noise like it's in pain. Do y'all hear that? And it's just this. No, I think it's laughing in the back. That thing with it looks like a speaker. Just let it be against the ice. Cream. I don't know, but it, it doesn't sound good. I guess my fridge is going to keep screaming, and if it is still screaming by the end of the day, I will tell maintenance. Anyways, still pinching off my dome. Perfect. Now, I do want to make a cute design, because that's always fun. I'm just going to take a fork and just make cute little, little imprints all around. I think it's stopping. Finally decided to shut its poor mouth. Okay, this is perfect. And if my hands look crusty, it's because I have eczema. I'm a dry ass queen. So next step, the guy added his Sprite. Now he had a can of Sprite and he added the whole thing. This is a bottle, this is much more Sprite. So I have to Google how many ounces a can of Sprite is. 12, okay, perfect. So this is 20 ounces. So I'm gonna use a little more than half of this. Okay, ooh. The bubbles. Is that half yet? Not yet. Now, I think that's perfect. A little more than half, okay? Oh wait, also there's another um, ingredient that I forgot to, to mention. Vanilla extrante, the most fancy one. Let's see the next step. I'm watching the TikTok as I go, so. <laughs> okay. One cup of sugar plus four tablespoons of flour. Mix that up. Okay. Okay. One cup of sugar. Four tablespoons of flour. Okay. Getting that all mixed up together. This is so fun. What an experiment. And I'm just going to slowly sprinkle this on top of everything. Okay. Okay. This might take a while. I want to do it really evenly. So I guess the flour is going to kind of thicken things up. I don't know. And the sugar obviously is just going to make it sweet and 
gooey. So like the spray already has a ton of sugar in it and we're adding a whole cup more. So obviously eat this at your own risk. <laughs> it's quite a lot of sugar. This world is crazy right now. Someone better get their damn car. I'm trying to have my peaceful pie time. And he said do not mix because it will like bubble up. But like I feel like that's a lot of dryness on top of the pie, right? Should I like kind of like push it down a little bit? Ooh, that is thick. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of like, just kind of like submerge it all. Yeah. Okay, that looks good. Perfect. So now I have to drip two teaspoons of vanilla extract on top without mixing it. Once again, this is like a no mix recipe, which is very interesting. Oh, Lord, that car has me on edge. I'm just gonna eyeball it. Okay. Ooh, mm, yeah, ooh, okay. No mixing, so I'm trying to get it all over. I think that's enough, but there's still so many empty spots. Okay, that's good. Okay, vanilla extract on me, it smells good. Mmm, my perfume. So now I have to grate some butter and just sprinkle it on top. Now the issue is that he didn't say how much butter in the video. So I'm just gonna eyeball it. It looked like a nice like cheese pizza amount of butter, if you know what I mean. Like it looked like cheese on top. And I don't have sticks of butter, I have this. So I'm just gonna take the whole blob out and just grate it. Touching butter is like the grossest thing ever. It just kind of stays on your skin, right? So I'm just gonna, it's gonna work, okay. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> it's so gross. <laughs> ah! The butter's falling apart. I'm just too hot. Okay, it's like crumbling, so that's nice. I don't I don't mind a crumble. A butter crumble. A lot of you guys love it when I say boom with my British accent. Have another blob here. Ah! No! <laughs> a whole blob. Okay. Oh my lord. Oh my gosh, my video is getting really long. It's getting to 20 minutes. Guys, fun fact, with this damn camera, it cuts off when it gets past like 20 minutes of filming and I have to like push the button again. So I'm like, oh my God, I have such greasy hands. I have to go stop the video. I just hope it turns out good, guys. I really do. I hope I'm doing it correctly or the TikTok gods are gonna get mad at me. I think that's good enough. Okay, so that's basically it. I just have to put some tin foil on the edges of the pie. I think that's to like prevent um, the crusty part from burning because it has to be in the oven for like a full hour. I am so pumped to try this, guys. Like, I am literally, I am ready. I always find putting foil around crust so awkward. How are you supposed to do it without Messing up the pie, you know? And of course, it is on a um, pan to prevent any leakage. No one likes a leaky moment. Well, maybe some people do, but that is not my brand. Okay, it is ready to go into the oven. My oven is preheated. It has to cook for 30 minutes at 400 and then for 30 more minutes at 375. So I will show you guys once it's completely done. And then of course I have to let it cool completely and it has to be like cold cold because it looks like if it's not cold, it's gonna be just like a goop. And we stand Gwyneth Paltrow, but I do not want a goopy pie. Oh, dangerous, I hate the oven. Okay, so it's in 30 minutes. Okay, I will see you guys after it's totally done in one hour. Okay guys, so this is the halfway mark. It actually looks like a real pie. It looks amazing. It smells like a big blob of sugar, but like in a good way, and I am here for it. So 30 more minutes at 375 now, and then I will show you all the finished result. Okay, so it is out of the oven, and guys, it might look kind of crusty, but in real life, it looks really delicious because these like wet parts are like very ooey gooey looking and like very shiny. It smells really, really good, um, but now is the hard part. I have to wait for it to cool down all the way. So I'm thinking I might just leave it in the fridge overnight just to make sure that it's fully, fully, fully set and perfect. Um, and then I will taste it tomorrow morning. I'm so excited. It did not leak at all. That was some butter from earlier, but it like literally didn't leak. So I'm shook about that too. I isolate this, honestly. Okay, so I will see you guys tomorrow. Love you. Okay, so it's been hours. Um, and I'm too excited to wait until tomorrow morning to try this. It's as cold as it's gonna possibly get, and it looks pretty solid, so I'm gonna cut into it right now. Ah! The filling underneath definitely got like cloudier and more like jellyfied, so let's cut into it. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Looks pretty 
Decently firm, slicing like a really soft pie. Okay, <gasps> that fully held up, oh my god. I'm gagged, look at that texture, it's perfect. <gasps> Guys, I made a Sprite pie. Okay, it's time to try it. The texture is very jelly-ish. Let's try it. Mmm, oh wow. That's so interesting. It's much better than I thought. Oh, I need more. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. So, it's really good. I can't stop eating it. I'm so pleasantly surprised. So, it's really sweet in the same way that like a pecan pie is like really sweet. But there is a slight lemon lime flavor. There is. Which has me shook because it is giving me like a slight Sprite vibe. I expected the Sprite to be tasteless. It's just really sweet. Spritey, light, refreshing. It would be really good with like some like whipped cream. It's delicious. I am a gag. Look how nice that is, guys. Look at that. I would make this again. It's really easy to make and it's delicious. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this TikTok recipe experiment, let me know. And let me know which other TikTok recipes I should test out in the comments below, okay? I love you guys so much. I'll see you next video. Ooh, boo, boo.